Kim Morgan here. So today I'm going to be making a little candle out of these little tiny Altoy tins. They're so cute. I love these little Altoy tins. I have so many good plans for them. So what I've already done is I have two wicks in here. I've decided to put two just because uh, I don't think one would be enough. So this is a uh, beeswax in there. I love using beeswax. It's unscented. There's no essential oils or anything. No scents, no colors, nothing. That's what I like about it. And beeswax I like better than soy. It just, I think it's just better. Um, and so I have it in the du double boiler method here and it should be super quick to, to get it going and get it poured in there. Speaking of Altoids, these Altoids Arctic, oh, so good. Highly recommended. I'm gonna have one right now. So I've made plenty of candles in the past. I, you know, I've done it scented, colored, plenty of candles in the past, you know. Um, I really like making candles. Candles are just super easy, a skill that everybody needs to know. Um, you know, you can do this off grid, no problem. You know, all you need to do is just get the wax ahead of time. Um, of course, if you have bees, then you have, you know, a source for beeswax right there, which is pretty convenient. I just poured it and I forgot to press record right before I poured it. It was a beautiful pour. It's like one of the best pours I've ever done. Okay, so there it is. I could only fill to a certain point because there are holes back here and you don't want to hinder the hinges anyway. So um, it should be okay. Yeah, it should be good. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. See, it's already hardening here, but I am not gonna light it for a little while. I'm not gonna cut these down more. Um, I'm just gonna let it uh, cool like this, and then um, I'm gonna just burn it and uh, let it burn down a little bit. But uh, it'll be, it looks looking perfect. The really nice thing about these Altoid candles is that when I'm done with it, I'll just be able to like close the lid and it'll, uh, extinguish the flame. I've done that on um, a past one, the, the the DIY where you put like the cardboard in there and then you put the wax. Yeah, so I've done that on that. You just close the lid and it extinguishes the flame. It's like super convenient. All right, I went and did the dishes. Took me about, uh, about uh, nine minutes to do the dishes and it's solidifying really well. You know, it's still really hot. I'm not gonna close this or anything just yet. I'm gonna let this sit like this overnight but it's solidifying really well. It looks perfect. It looks great. You know, this is still closing. Everything is great. The longest part of this process was waiting for the water to boil in order to melt the wax. <laughs> and now I just, I just wait for it to, to set, you know, I, that, that has nothing to do with me. Uh, but I found these little mini Altoids. The only place I've been able to find them is Target at the, at the checkout. Um, I haven't found them in like the multi-packs. I haven't found them at Walmart. I haven't found them at any other grocery store. Um, I'm sure they're available online. I haven't looked, but they're about a dollar a piece. And then you can make anything with these little Altoid tins. I freaking love them. You know, you can pack multiple things in these little Altoids. I like these a lot better than the bigger Altoids, but you know, there, I think there's so many little cool things you could do with them, you know? I mean, this is literally pocket size. <laughs> So anyway, um, I just thought I'd show that real quick video. Uh, thank you so much for watching another video. So tomorrow I have a friend coming in from uh, Fort Worth. So um, I'm not sure what the video is gonna be tomorrow. It'll probably be done before she gets here because we're gonna be installing a CB into her Jeep. So uh, we'll be busy the rest of the day. But uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you really like my videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon, link down below in the description. And all my social media and everything is down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you later, bye.